On today's video, I'm going to be checking out this Call Sun 100 amp hour budget friendly mini lithium iron phosphate battery. Going to see what it's made of. Let's get right into it. Charging up the battery before the capacity test. Looks like the charge completed at just a touch below 14.6, so very close to full charge voltage. You can see the charger indicated the charging cycle is complete. So you can see the call sun battery is connected to the capacity test rig, the same setup I always use. The energy meter has been zeroed out. No energy has moved out of the battery yet. So I'll turn the inverter on now and I will apply the load. The load for this test is the charger that charged this battery. I'm sending charge out of this battery to another 12 volt battery to economize. So the load has stabilized 52.84 amps, roughly 700 watts, give or take load on the call sun battery. And I really don't like M6 terminals on a battery that's supposed to be able to support 100 amps. Still near the beginning of the capacity run, 16 watt hours through. Let's take some thermal pictures. So the battery is roughly 72 degrees. So you can see some of the heat signature right there. That's probably little contact patches right there where the cells are against the plastic case. After all, it is a mini. And in many batteries, the cells are usually in direct contact with the plastic. Most of the way through the capacity test, I'll get you another thermal image of this battery. So there we go. You see we got a little warm spot right there and a little warm spot right in there. So roughly there and there for reference. And the top of course is a little bit warm. There's some noticeable heat up top. I think the BMS is sitting right there under the lid. Alrighty, met rated capacity on the call sun battery. All right, the inverter just shut down on a low voltage disconnect right there. So the tally was 1300 and 24 watt hours of usable capacity on an inverter from the call sun battery. That's roughly 103 and a half amp hours. Nice. 103.4375 amp hours. And you can see there is a little bit of energy left. So a very small straight DC load. You can get a little bit more. So the battery comes with a user manual indicating specifications and wiring practices for their batteries. And we got two sets of M6 terminal bolts for this battery, shorts and longs. This is the product specification sheet for the battery. Make note right here that there is no indication of low temp protection. You notice the dimensions outlined in the manual are metric. It is a true form factor mini, similar to all the other true mini format batteries. And you can see they're rating it IP65 and including a five year warranty. The battery has two convenient carry handles on the top. And as I said before, it is a true form factor mini. It is a small battery. There is the model number right there. You see the graphics on the front, nothing on the side, and then a specification sticker on the back with some cautions and warnings, nothing on that side. So I'm curious to how this battery is built and assembled. So now I will remove the lid and check out the battery's build quality. All right, well, the lid mostly came off already. It's got an epoxy bead down through there. So when I got the lid to pop off, it popped off. So I couldn't save the last little bit of epoxy for you. But there you go. There it is. So my initial impression looking at this battery is, well, it's more of a wow because it's decent. A lot of the other ones that I've been looking at here recently have been junk piles. This one's nice and neatly organized. It appears we have either a JBD style or a real JBD board right here. We have adequate wire size in this one. We have protective caps underneath on the terminals. Very nice and neat. Looks like it's even got a metal compression structure around the cells. And it has two eight gauge silicone jacketed leads for the negative and two eight gauge silicone jacketed leads for the positive. So let's just make sure that everything is snugged up. And the battery here, that's just a little bus bar moving. That's tight right there. Check the positive, see if it's tight. All right, it's not moving. And we'll check the negative right here to see if it's moving. Always something in these batteries, I swear. Always something. Well, I don't think that was snug down good enough. Because it looks like they used M8 terminals under an M6 bolt. So let's just find out if that is the case right there. If that's in fact 
uh, M8 terminal under an M6 bolt. Uh, I think it is. All right. Yep, that is a M8 terminal, and they used a M6 bolt. Yeah, it's hard to get good contact with the lock washer and everything when you have <laughs> oversized terminals. But you can see the contact patch right there. The little washer on here was barely making any contact on there. So there you go. And the positive wasn't you know, ridiculously tight. I would call it adequate, but it'll probably still loosen with just a... Yeah, with just a screwdriver right there. So, same thing on the positive, I'm sure. Yes, no, they use a, no, they use an M6 on the positive right there. So that's why it stayed snug, I would assume. You can see right there, it's a M6 terminal with the M6 bolt. So they just used whatever came on this board on this side instead of recrimping or having M8 terminals up here. I just cheaped out and skipped a step and what was going to be a real good review on this battery turned sideways real quick. I mean, just look how nicely this pack was put together. I mean, that is a very nicely built pack. It's not bad at all. I mean, very, very nice and neat. Got the metal compression right there. Epoxy board between all the cells, epoxy board on top between all the terminals. I mean, it just looks good. It really does, except for that. I looked up the board number right there through some JBD resources I have. I can't find that model number, but it appears very similarly built to a JBD board. It's got the same markings in the same spots, and I can't say with 100% certainty that is a you know JBD board. More than likely, it's a custom contract unit by JBD for Call Sun. But like I said, can't verify it with 100% accuracy. But if it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's probably a duck access to QR code. So there it is for your reference. I'm gonna look it up. So as you can see from that QR scan, that is a valid code. That is a great power cell. I've seen these cells in several other batteries. They usually do pretty good. And make note that the battery does have a NTC sensor. Don't know if it's got high or low temp protection because I'm not filming anymore with this battery. I was going to check high and low temp protection, but I'm not giving any more air time on this battery. If you can't spend maybe 20 seconds and five cent to put an M6 terminal here, or either get a lid that's got M8 terminals, you know, same thing, change the terminal here, make stuff where it's tight and fully serviceable, that's all the air time you're going to get. Gave you some basic information on the battery, but until they fix that right there, I can't recommend it. A lot of people would have probably hid that from you. Went ahead and snugged it up because it's such a good battery overall minus that right there but not me i'm always going to give you an honest review on any of these batteries now whatever money you're spending i want you to get your best value for your money and until they correct this as good as it looks as good as capacity was i just don't think it's the right one for you uh, if you like it i'll have a link in the description you know down below so you can check it out check pricing all that good stuff i think at time of filming it was 159 or something like that but there are other comparable batteries at the same price range that have tight wire connections and deliver similar capacity, things like that. If you look at some of those batteries, check the description. I'll have videos to those batteries so you can compare for yourself. Hope you enjoyed the video today. As always, thank you for watching. Y'all take care. Be safe. I will see you on the next one. Special thanks to Call Sun for providing this field testing sample for me to evaluate. You got a little work to do.